Senator Klein. Senators, I rise to pay tribute to Joseph Hildebrandt, a soldier, rancher, and family man from Saskatchewan who was killed while fighting for freedom in Ukraine. Joseph died while helping to retrieve casualties near the Ukraine city of Bamut, an epicenter of fighting in eastern Ukraine. For him, however, this was no ordinary mission, nor was Joseph an ordinary soldier. He was a volunteer, a man who chose of his own free will to go overseas and to put himself in harm's way by joining the fight, to stay, stay true to his beliefs and to help others. Being a soldier was Joseph's calling. Shortly after high school, he served two tours of duty in Afghanistan, where he saw combat and helped train Afghan forces. When he returned home, he worked as a rancher and raised a family, who he loved dearly. Joseph was a true country boy, and he loved his home. But he was always a soldier at heart. It's hard to believe, but this was not Joseph's first effort at serving overseas on a volunteer basis. He previously went to great lengths to join the battle in Syria when the conflict broke out there some years ago. As his family members have described it, Joseph's desire to serve in the armed forces was, and I quote, an itch he just could not scratch, end quote, while working as a civilian. When the war in Ukraine broke out, he felt compelled to do this part, his part. For him, it wasn't a choice. He had to go. Joseph knew that he was going, doing the right thing by going to Ukraine, even if that meant putting himself in danger. As senators will know, while Canada has provided support in Ukraine in the form of military aid, supplies, and training, and our country has not taken an active combat role, yet a small but brave number of Canadians have gone away, and Joseph, Joseph was one of them. His memory is a testament to those who have died in the ongoing battle for freedom. Joseph Hildebrand lived and died in service to others. We will never forget his sacrifice. Our hearts are with his friends and family as they endure this difficult time. I hope they take the comfort in knowing that he is a hero. Thank you.